What is the T, honey? Orchid Diva, help me. Help me, Orchid Diva. Somebody help me. But I wanted you guys to see my little nook before um, I moved everything inside. It was really nice. I got so many compliments from all of my neighbors, honey. All of my neighbors, honey. This might be the last time that you see all of them looking in good health, honey. But you gotta stay tuned. <laughs> So let's see if we have any obvious cold damage. Um, last, well, early this morning, it dropped down to um, the low 50s. I believe it dropped down to 50 degrees. Now, this vandal right here, as you can see, it can survive in the low 40s. My dendrobium, on the other hand, I am not sure, um, but I don't see any obvious discoloration overnight. And you saw the lady from my um, Vanda care video. I will leave a link below, honey. Um, she told me that immediately the next day she saw a difference. Um, even my phalaenopsis from a distance appears to still be okay. My phalaenopsis Nina. My cat Leo Blanca. Um, um, I mean, I guess she okay. I guess she's okay. My Uncidium, honey, she will not die, honey. I wish she hurry up and die because as long as she has some green, I'm going to be, I'm going to feel bad about killing her or letting her die. Uh, my blooms, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I see a little yellow up here. Hopefully that's not fungus i see a yellow leaf back there but allegedly my sibidium is supposed to tolerate cooler temperatures it says um anywhere below 45 and um 95 so it did not drop down to 40. okay pal pals the time has come honey the time has come so what I'm going to do is bring my orchids indoors. I will warn you not to do what you see me do because this is me doing this for my first time. I don't want to lose my orchids. It's hard to let um, orchids that's in bloom fade away. So what I'm going to do is first submerge the orchids in water, hoping that that would make the bugs come out a little bit more easier. I will show you guys the fungicide that I chose to get and um, um, we will also show you my um, phalaenopsis. On the back of it is um, a hornet's nest. So it's going to be very fruitful. Now what I'm choosing to do is, this is as warm as it's going to get today. It is now 68 degrees. The sun is high in the sky. So I want to make sure that I don't let cool temperatures get to my orchids while I am um, spraying the fungicide on them. Stay tuned, darling. Stay tuned. Now, foul pals, it isn't bad, but as you can see, these ants or whatever they are, the fungicide I had, it promises to kill them. Although, it is a lot of saying that, well, we don't kill this kind. Now, um, I'm supposed to spray it connected to a hose, but I don't have a hose. So, I'm going to spray, um, dilute it just a little bit in the bottle and honey, honey. Orcas, if they want to live, they will have to do what they have to do. Stay tuned. Okay, Fab Pal, so this is what I am using, darling. I don't know if you guys have ever used this before. This was the only thing that I could see that said that it kills ants, although it says excluding a lot of other ants. So, this is what I'm going to do because I'm supposed to connect it to a hose I did not know. I'm going to take it off put some in there and dilute it and this is the biggest spray bottle that I have so stay tuned. Fab Pals, I just wanted to warn you that it is a milky substance so I definitely want to shake it up really good before I start to dilute it and pour it into this bottle. Stay it's going to be two-thirds of that fungicide and one-third of tap water. Um, I'm going to submerge the leaves the best that I can. get to spring in. I'm sorry. I'm sorry.
Maybe I should have got it out of the water first and then sprayed it. Because I don't want the water to be all toxic, even though it's already in there. So this is a creamy substance. So yeah, I'm definitely going to have to spray this off my orchids. Honey, this is some foolishness. This is foolishness. This not even spraying out the way I wanted it to spray. So I'm gonna let that sit for a moment and then I'm gonna come and wash it off. Once I wash it off, I will then let it sit for a moment before I bring it indoors. Stay tuned, darling, stay tuned. As you can see, all of these bugs up in my banda. I hope you can see, I can't see from the glare of the sun. But as you can see, Mama did have a spike. I don't know what will become of this bounder after um, spraying all this stuff on her, which I'm totally against, but I had no other option for our pals. Stay so what I chose to do was spray it with hydrogen peroxide, and then I came and poured um, tap water over it. <clears throat> now I'm gonna spray it one more time with hydrogen peroxide, rinse it off with water one more time, and let it dry before I bring it indoors. This is what it looks like with the um, fungicide on it. I really hope it doesn't affect my blooms at all. Um, I'm not noticeably able to see any insects moving at the time. And it's the same that goes for here. I'm going to repeat the process and let them dry out um, as much as they can for the next hour before the sun goes down. It's now 69 degrees. So it's still uh, warm enough for me to do this. Stay I don't, oh, oh, it's supposed to have hornets in it. We putting it in the water, just stick it in there. Oh, I don't know what's gonna happen, but when those hornets come out, I am gonna run. Oh, there you go. Oh, they're going another way. Oh, they're climbing out. Oh, they're climbing out. Oh, they're going another way. It's like they can get wet and just be okay. Ridiculous. Do you see this, fam, fans? I want to spray it with that fungicide now. Okay, because I'm mad. I'm finna take my revenge and spray it with this fungicide. Can you move from that, huh? It is still in that water swimming. These things are some crazy things. Stay tuned, fair pals. They're the little bug that I always see creeping around my orchid pots. I don't know what it is, but honey, they are on the run. You are not welcomed in my home, darling. No yes, ma'am. it down. My husband is concerned about the orchid, but if I had not sprayed the orchid, there's no way it would have came in or survived the um, cooler temperatures. Um, my Phalaenopsis Nina was doing very good with her roots attached to the pot and everything. Those um, hornets was really helping her. But honey, that time is over.